So now let's talk about marginal analysis. Basically, that's going to be the key for the rest of the course, really, on how we're going to analyze problems. And really, we've kind of already seen it with supply and demand. Supply and demand were marginal benefit and marginal cost. So here's the issue. Let's say, and let's just sort of see why it works and how you're going to be working with it if you're given a table and whatnot. So let's say you're given a basic problem like this where you're given the benefit and cost of doing something. So let's say you're deciding to go trick-or-treating and you're wondering how many houses should you hit up tonight. So uh, let's say the first house, if you were to do one house, you'd get a hundred dollar happiness in your mind and it would cost you ten dollars worth of sort of time. So again, all these are kind of, you know, almost metaphors, right? So it's not really saying that you're physically giving up ten dollars, but it's just kind of quantifying how much your cost is, even though it's not a physical dollar cost, that's, that's what that is. So your goal is to have, you know, your total benefit be as much higher than the cost as possible, right? So looking at this, yeah, we could kind of, you know, go through every one and try to find your benefit minus your cost for every single one and see where that's the highest. And that's sort of one way you can kind of verify your answer. But as you'll see, it becomes much more efficient if you were to look at the marginal values instead of the total values. So here's the thing. We'd have to go through each one, and even then we kind of aren't sure necessarily in the real world, but with the marginal analysis, you'll sort of be able to efficiently get the right answer once you have the numbers. So first, let's talk about how do you find the marginal values based on the total values. So if we're given the total benefit, we want to find the marginal benefit, here's what we're going to do. Well. Going from zero to one house, your benefit goes up by a hundred. So your marginal, marginal just means the next value, your marginal benefit for that first house was a hundred. Now the going from one to two, that was also, it went up by a hundred. So you see your marginal benefit there was also a hundred because that's how much the second one added. So really you're just finding the difference. It's the change in the total benefit technically divided by the change in quantity. But here the quantity is going up by one every time. So we're just looking at the difference here. Going from two to three houses, you went from a benefit of 200 to 280. So that went up by 80. So we can say then that the third one alone added an $80 happiness. You got an $80 benefit from going to that third house alone. Marginal is the next one. So here to here, 280 to 320, that's 40. And that's going to be 10. So these are your marginal benefits for each extra house. Notice it typically goes down, right? Because the more of something you do, the less the next value adds to it, right? The going from the fourth house to the fifth house didn't give you as much more excitement as going from the first to the second house did. Marginal cost typically goes up because by then you're getting more and more tired and whatnot. So uh, here, notice the first one's usually a, a dash because there's nothing before it. But going from zero to one, that's a cost of 10. Going from 1 to 2, that went up by 20, right? 10 to 30, so it's really just the difference. It went up by 20. Here it went up by 30. So again, what this is saying is the third house added $30 to your cost. Your cost went from 30 to 60. Here it went up by 40, and here it went up by 100. So, now that we have our marginal benefits and our marginal costs, we can easily figure out the best quantity. All we have to do is look at where they're equal to each other, technically. Now, here, that's over here, so we know that the answer is going to be four houses. So we want a quantity of four, and that's where we're going to maximize our sort of total profits or total utility. So the reason is this. Here's the reasoning. The question is, should you go to the first house? Well, the benefit for the first house alone is 10. And the cost uh, 100 and the cost is 10 so that exceeds that right so by doing that you're going to add 90 to your profits so you might as well do that the second one should you do it well again you're adding 100 it only cost you 20 so you're adding 80 dollars to your profit so yeah you might as well do it the third one same thing where the benefit outweighs the cost the marginal benefit outweighs the marginal cost here's basically the golden rule in economics if the marginal benefit outweighs the marginal cost, do it. If the marginal cost outweighs the marginal benefit, don't do it. So 
here, should we go to the third house? Well, yeah, the extra benefit, we get 80 more dollars in happiness. It only costs us 30 to do it. So we'll add 50 to our profits by doing it. So yeah, we should do it. Should we do the fourth one? Well, here's where it's kind of weird because we're not really adding anything to our profits, but we're not losing anything either. So by convention, if it's adding zero, we do it anyway. So that's just a convention throughout all economics courses. Uh, if there's uh, an equal benef marginal benefit and marginal cost, you'll do it anyways. You're not really gaining anything more, but you're not losing anything. So we just had to pick and so we picked that you'd do it. So there's that, but should you go to the fifth house? Well, the cost will outweigh the benefit by 90. So that means that if you were to go from four to five houses, then your profits would go down by, by, by that 90 because you're sort of losing that, which makes sense because here your profits are 220 because your total benefit for the four houses is 320 minus 100. Your profits here are, are 220, but your profits here are only 130. So notice your profits went down. In fact, if you wanted to look at your profits at every single point, here it's 90. Your profits here, 200 minus 30 is 170. Your profits here are 220. So out of all of these, this is the best one. Again, technically, three also gave you the same, but we'll just choose the higher quantity if it's a tie.